for sure. My name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Lost Orbit! It's actually a pretty cool speedrunning game. Um, I have been doing a, quite a few speedrunning games on my channel, and that's because it's something that I really enjoy, and it's really easy to play by yourself and try and master. Even if nobody cares, I care. Oh! Oh, hold on, little Harrison! I, I gotta hit this shit real quick. You wouldn't blame me if I did, right? Nah, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. You know it's last orbit. And kid, I'm all for it. Got Harrison and no. They heading right for the goal. Though not currently. They tug on my heartstrings. If you like to speed run, it's a sure thing. Told a kick ass little story. Then I took my high score and I tore it. <laughs> a fun little game. Some room to grow. New mechanics introduced. Agonizingly slow. Like luster soundtrack. But I still rock the tone. Nodding right out like I was on skid row. Controls are on point. Gameplay passable. But even upgrades can't bump the replayable score. Difficulty low. Like the games on autopilot. These are the facts, kid, don't try and deny it. Writing and story are this game's redemption. If you like to feel shit, then pay close attention. <laughs> Graphics, I'm a whore for it, still a decent score for it. It's Lost Orbit, and I'm all for it. A fun little game with some room to grow. New mechanics introduced, agonizingly slow. Lackluster soundtrack, but I still rock the tone. Knock the fuck out like I was on Skid Row. So immediately, uh, I'm struck by the writing. I absolutely love the writing. But the voice acting could use just a little bit of help. Oh, look at that, so cool. <laughs> the graphics definitely uh, strike me as well. For a game called Pixel Knots, I'm really glad that they decided not to do it in pixel graphics because these particle effects are just nuts and it just wouldn't be the same. Checkpoint, save your progress. The soundtrack seems a little bit generic to me. If I'm to be completely honest. Ooh. And I'm hoping that some new gameplay mechanics will be thrown in quite soon. He told me his name was Harrison. He's hungry. And he I'm hungry, I'm no. I like Harrison. I like his story. I like these fucking pulsars. Shoosh! 30 minutes for pulsars to be introduced, I think, is a little too long. The game could be made super awesome uh, if it was introduced earlier and probably hold my interest a lot better because it took me until this point to be like, oh, fuck yeah, now we're doing the thing. But uh, maybe it's your reward for patience or whatever. It's a virtue! Oop. All right, don't. Aw, oh, don't. Put me in the thing. Nobody puts baby in the corner, bitch! I don't want to be in there. You don't understand. Yeah, that's good. That's good right there. That's terrible, though. That's the most awful thing I've experienced. Why? Wouldn't it be fun to put you in a bubble? No. That has never sounded fun or awesome. So friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Lost Orbit! Um, for the gameplay section, I've given the controls an 8 out of 10. They're relatively fluid, however, I feel that uh, it could be tightened up with the control stick just a little bit, although it might just be my controller. Um, I'm not too sure, but I think an 8 out of 10 is pretty fair. 
Fun factor, I've given a 6 out of 10. It does get a little bit monotonous. It takes a really long time for new mechanics to be introduced. And I didn't find myself wanting to plow through the game for any more reason than just finding out the rest of the story. So, 6 out of 10. Still slightly above average, but uh, not too great on the fun factor. Difficulty, 4 out of 10. It feels like a game that plays itself most of the time, honestly. Once you get into a pulsar, it'll just shoot you into a black hole and jump, and sometimes you gotta make slight adjustments, but it's not anything that's overly engaging. So I've given the difficulty a 4 out of 10. Replayability, 2 out of 10. Really, because I was only interested in the story. There are upgrades and things like that, however, uh, they seem pretty basic. While things considered, there's not an overwhelming amount of them, to be completely honest. No skill tree, no nothing like that. So, uh, 2 out of 10, and that's basically just because I enjoyed the story. Innovation, I've given an 8 out of 10. It is quite an innovative speedrunner with uh, a lot of interesting mechanics, some of which work really well and some of which I find myself scratching my head about. But regardless, it is pretty innovative at an 8 out of 10. For the aesthetic side, I've given the graphics an 8 out of 10. Um, I'm really glad that they didn't decide to do it in a pixel style. The particle effects are really beautiful and uh, a lot of fun fun st stuff can happen like uh, the skeleton flying out of the spacesuit and shit like that. Blood, blood spray and all that kind of stuff. Graphics are really well done. I could tell a lot of work went into it. And, um, yeah. It, de it definitely deserves an 8 out of 10. Music I find a little bit generic. You know, just a couple synth, synth pads thrown together, which might be good for, like, an outer space game, I suppose. But, um, it's not anything that I'll find myself humming at work the next day. So, 6 out of 10. Uh, sound effects I've given a 7 out of 10. It really feels real when you run into asteroids, and uh, I like the sounds from the pulsars and the gas planets and all that good stuff. So, I've, I've given it a relatively above average score at a 7 out of 10. The story is what engaged me the most, definitely. Uh, I've given it a 9 out of 10. I could tell where it was going from the beginning, but just the way that it's told is really interesting to me. And although the voice acting could use a little help, I think the writing is absolutely superb and definitely worth a look if you enjoy a good story. The level design I've given a 7 out of 10. It is pretty innovative um, and relatively well put together. The mechanics tend to mesh, although like I said, they do take a long time to do so. Um, they're thrown at you really, really slowly. But once they do start meshing, you can see uh, what their intention was, and I think it's a relatively well-designed game at a 7 out of 10. So this game gets a, a slightly above average score at a 65 out of 100. I think it's pretty fair. Um, the game could use a little more tightening and tweaking and such, but um, as far as the story goes, as far as the gameplay goes, it's definitely passable. So, if it looks like something you'd enjoy, I hope you will check it out. Once again, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Lost Orbit. If you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you my friends